Blood donations are a big part of saving lives, and this week the American Red Cross welcomed more donors to add to the supply. 2822 reporter Emily Allegrucci joins us live in the newsroom to tell us more about these new rules and the reaction from some locals. Emily? Good evening, Nick. The Red Cross has decided to allow anyone, regardless of sexual orientation, to donate blood for the first time in 40 years. I had the chance to speak with someone from the Red Cross about the change and to locals about what they think. Every day, countless lives are saved due to blood donations willingly made from people all over the country. But a large demographic has been forbidden from donating since 1983 due to their sexual orientation. Back then, with the AIDS epidemic that probably made sense way back then 40 years ago. Um, but in the past 40 years, the only people that have really been suffering would be people who would have medical need of blood donors. On Monday, the American Red Cross announced they will be allowing gay and bisexual men to donate blood for the first time since before the HIV and AIDS crisis in the 80s. This choice follows updated procedures from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration made in May. Now everybody will see more questions about their behaviors. Um, so this is a way of being more inclusive and treating everybody fairly and equally. Anyone who decides to donate blood will be asked the same questions and will no longer have to answer based on sexual orientation, something that Corinne Tronsu believes is long overdue. I think it's great that they opened up for everyone to be able to give blood. I think it's very important for everyone to see that changes are happening. Many like Autumn Savitsky understand the importance of blood donations and how this change could save lives. People need blood. Um, a lot of people for many different reasons and I think there's probably a lot of people in that category um, who identify that way that can give blood. And although the Red Cross is changing some things, one remains the same. The precautions they take during and after donations. Blood donations still go through rigorous testing. This is kind of a new way of, you know, talking about giving blood and the questions we ask and how we ask them, um, but the safety element is always there. If you are interested in donating blood or looking to learn more about the change made by the Red Cross, head to our website at pahomepage.com. Nick? It's easy to do. Only takes about 45 to 50 minutes of your time. All right, Emily, thank you.